Earlier this week at Google I.O.'s main keynote, Google officially unveiled the second developer preview for Android P. It packs a whole lot of new tweaks and features, but let's take a few minutes to look at the biggest new changes. First and foremost, you can't not talk about the new gesture-based navigation system. Google's new system turns Android navigation on its head by ditching the traditional three-button setup for just one. There's one constant button at the center of the navigation bar, which goes home with a tap, opens the assistant with a long press, and accesses multitasking with a swipe. Now, it's an interesting new way to interact with Android, and also it's completely optional, which is good because clearly not everyone likes it. Now, along with that revised navigation method, Google is also delivering a new app switcher in Android P. Now, this revised take on multitasking is completely new to Android and also really powerful. Apps are now larger, full-size cards which show you the app's full content, and you can swipe through them and switch between them as you normally would. A quick pull and release on the pill button also quick swaps between apps. Where things get really crazy, though, is when you look at how you can interact with these apps in the switcher itself. You can copy content from apps and even share pictures directly directly from the switcher. It's just fantastic. Finally, there's Markup, Android P's screenshot editor, which makes its proper debut in this developer preview. In the first release of Android P, we saw this functionality to a limited extent, but it was pretty broken. With the Android P beta release, Markup works great with cropping, drawing, and easy sharing tools for screenshots. Simply take a screenshot, hit edit, and you're good to go. Now those are our favorite big changes in Android P. How about you? Drop a comment and let us know, and also head over to 9to5Google at the link in the description for all of our Android P coverage, and also so you can learn how to install it on your phone.